Hey everybody, welcome to Northwoods Engineered. Today I'm going to be showing you this 3D printed drill fixture that I designed and built myself in order for drilling holes through EMT conduit. So if you watch any of my other videos, you know I like to use EMT conduit for a lot of my projects. I use primarily connectors from a company called MakerPipe. They make a whole bunch of different styles of connectors. They're super handy, you can make all sorts of projects. But I still find myself needing to drill a hole once in a while. And I wanted an easy way to uh, reliably drill a straight hole through a tube. And this is what I've come up with. So if you're interested in seeing it, keep watching the video. Also, please hit that subscribe button if you like the video and want to see more of my content in the future. So when I started looking at how I was going to make this drill jig, I looked online to see what was out there. And there's a couple options, but they're really expensive, like 60 or $70. Um, for the fixture. So I wanted to make something that in the end would be a cheaper product um, but would give you the same results. So uh, I decided to use a 3D printer to make the main body. Um, the hardened steel bushing is knurled on the outside as is the inserts that these bolts thread into. And so what you do is once you have the parts 3D printed you can take a soldering iron with a flat tip and you press on those and heat it up just enough to melt the plastic a little bit and push them in and then they'll just stay in the plastic part. Um, the other thing I have on here is an arrow. So when you want to drill some holes, you can line that arrow up with the lines that are on a piece of conduit. Most pieces of conduit have a line. So you can line it up there and get holes in a straight line. The other thing is that the part is exactly one inch wide. So when you're going to mark where you want to drill, you can mark a line and then you measure one half inch away and that's where your hole will be. The other thing is I've added this slot in here so that if your conduit is on a project and, it's, and you can't slide it on from the end, you can put it on quickly like this, right in the middle so you don't have to completely undo those bolts. The other thing I had to figure out was the size of the bushing. So when I first started, you can see I went through a lot of iterations. I had a lot of different prototypes. The first one here, uh, my friend Andrew printed for me and we were using a hose clamp to hold it down to the piece of tubing. I also had two different size bushings uh, in there, um, but the bushings are the most expensive part so that significantly increases the cost. Um, this is the first one I made myself. So I had a quarter inch and a 3 16th, 3 16th inch bushing. Um, and then just a few uh, minor uh, deviations in all these parts that I tried. But I eventually landed on a 1 8 inch size. So I, I chose that because it's a small drill bit. It's quick, quick to drill through the tube and then you can upsize it to any size you want. So. Um, yeah, that's where I ended up, and that's what I've been using, and it's been really helpful for a lot of projects that I've been working on lately. So I'll show you how to use it. Um, it's pretty easy. You just slide it on the end. Uh, I'm not going to mark a specific spot as this is just a test hole. Clamp it on like that. Simple as that. And then you could take whatever size drill bolt you need for the bolt you're using and just upsize it. Thanks for watching today. If you are interested in purchasing one of these, I'm hopeful to be selling them soon. So check for a link in the description or directions on how to buy one. Also, please hit that subscribe button if you like my videos. I'd really appreciate it and have a great day.